welcome to Trinity Lutheran Church in New York Mills. I want you to take a look here. Yes, we do actually have a time of the year where we don't have snow. God has had mercy on us, we might say, uh, as we see the snow retreat and finally go away. We hope maybe by August we won't have snow piles, we giggle. Mercy is a, a neat thing. Uh, mercy is where we talk about where God's mercy is where he does not give us what we deserve in his wrath and his punishment. And he did that through his son, our savior, Jesus. The psalmist David writes in Psalm 103, especially we take note of verses eight through 12. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor punished us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Mercy is something that we are filled with by the power of his word. Every Sunday that you gather with fellow believers in Jesus Christ, that mercy comes as the, the pastor starts the service in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit to remind you as a baptized, redeemed child of God, the mercy you've received in God's grace. By the way, grace, God's riches at Christ's expense, where God gives us his love, what we don't deserve. And he bestowed upon that upon us. That mercy continues to fill you every Sunday. When you confess your sins, knowing what God has done for you already through his son, our savior, Jesus, and the pastor announces the full and free forgiveness of your sins. The word of God comes to us in his red word and it's preached upon in its severity of its law and its freeness of the gospel. And if it's a particular Sunday, as you gather with fellow believers in that same common confession where you receive God's mercy for his very body and blood that is in, with, and under that bread and wine for your forgiveness, your faith, and your life eternal. And now that we've been so filled, full of mercy, we get to go out into a world full of that mercy, bestowing upon it as a forgiven child of God, witnessing that forgiveness to others that we are in a relationship with. So they too know the love of Jesus Christ. My prayer for you today as you go throughout your days, that you rejoice in the mercy that God has given you. He's poured it upon you. He has lavished you in it. And as you go out in that mercy, you come back at the end of the week. You come with fellow believers as God fills you with mercy again and again and again. The Lord bless you during this time of Easter, the empty tomb as we get to look out for our forward to our resurrection someday. In the name of Jesus, amen. Prosper your world.
Cuando 